Hi everybody and welcome. My name is Chris and today I'm super excited to show you something we've been working on to help improve your workflow with sharing point clouds. I'm talking about the new free point cloud viewer called point cap share for point cap projects. With point cap share, we make it easier for you to share and visualize your point cloud results. You can share sections, measurements, panoramas, vector lines, and you can even take some measurements while you're at it. And best of all, it's for free and there is no installation process involved. If you want to know how all that works for you and your customers, stay tuned. Okay, so before we start, please keep the following in mind. If you are the one sharing your data, you need to forward the project folder as well as the results folder together with the PCP file. If you are the one receiving the data, you could find all exported results in the results folder. I'm going to show you how to look at results you received in Point Cap Share. To do that, you have to simply download and off we go. If you want to follow me, you can find the download link for Point Cap Share in the description below. As soon as you download the zip file, you just unpack it and you get the Point Cap Share folder and the Point Cap Share starter file. Now you just click on the starter file and bam, Point Cap Share starts. There is no installation necessary, which by the way comes in really handy if you work on a business computer and you don't have the admin rights. Let's have a look at this together. If you're familiar with Point Cap, you can see right away that we've made some sweet design changes with this release and we're really excited to get your feedback on this new design pattern, which you by the way will also see and the new PointCat 4.0, which is going to be uh, released sometime in the first quarter of 2021. No worries, although it looks a little bit different, we made sure that the intuitive workflow you're used to stays the same. In the opening screen, you can find the new PointCat newsfeed uh, getting started section on the right. That's pretty self-explanatory. And on the left, you can see the Point Cap Share tools on the top. And you can see the last project sections below. That's basically a little preview. And you have the contact information on the bottom left. As you can see, I already opened two projects, so they appear with their preview window. But for now, just let's pretend we haven't done that and we want to open a new project. To do that, we click on open and select a point cap project file. Now you get the typical three standard views, front, top, and side view, just like you know from point cap. You can see here layouts and sections have been made, so you get a better understanding of the results immediately. In the job list on the bottom right, you can see which jobs have been performed on the point cloud by the person who gave you the data. In this case, there are two layouts and a section. So if you perform a single click on the job, you get all the related information and metrics in the job editor. If you double click, the layout opens. To get a better look at it, I'm going to switch to the tab view now, but of course you can also switch back anytime. After zooming in, we can see the area of the bathroom has been measured and as well as some of the distances of the kitchen counter. And if you want to take additional measurements, you can go right ahead and use the tools on the top bar. I'm going to use that area tool right here just to measure how much space the open dishwasher takes up. Here we go. And I'm going to measure the angle of the kitchen counter here. So as you can see, even if you're missing some of the information in the data, you can quickly get it yourself. Sometimes if many measurements have been taken, the layout may look a little bit cluttered. So if you click on the eye icon up in the corner left here, uh, you can go ahead and hide elements and you can basically clean up the view. 
As you can see, you already get a very comprehensive conception of the data, but it gets even better in the panorama view. So to open a panorama, you select the panorama tool, and then the scan position you want to observe. Now you can clearly see what's going on and of course take measurements as well. So also very nice, by the way, uh, is the changed uh, setup of the Sheets tool. Up in the left corner, you can click on the tool and select different views. The different views come with many advantages depending on your use case, but I'm just going to show you two examples here to keep it short. So the normal view is basically a plane detection and a really nice overview for the modelers. The validity view shows you which part of the panorama we actually captured by the scanner. So if this view is all white, congratulations, the scanner has utterly captured everything. Uh, but since that is not at all realistic, you can just go ahead and use that to check for blind spots. Okay, so that was our tour on the 2D viewing options you have in Point Capture. But of course, you can also go for 3D views. For example, uh, staying right here in the panorama view, you can also switch to bubble view if you click on this icon over here. Um, please keep in mind that you cannot take measurements in this view. You have to definitely switch back to the so-called planar view first. So in order to take a look at the whole point cloud in 3D, you need to select the 3D view tool in the top toolbar. If you click it, you can see the coordinate axis and the scan positions in the window. That's because the point cloud isn't rendered yet. To do that, you click on the edit icon on the top left corner. And then you can select in the job editor which scans should be rendered. You can monitor the progress in the job list. Depending on your hardware and the number of scans and the density of the data you want to render, this might take a little time. And now you can see we can fly through the point cloud. So that was our introduction and tutorial on the point cap share for point cap projects, the all new free point cloud viewer. Of course, uh, there's still more to discover, yet this should get you guys started. Let us know what you think about Point Cap Share and what you think about our new design. Leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Talk soon. Bye-bye.